Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's like occupational therapy that old people <laughs> take. <laughs> Oh, hello, what have we got here? Put yeah. Smarties tubes on cats' legs, make them walk like a robot. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Use all that his letters. That is visual image. Unbe no, that is unbe <laughs> Sense. Yes, so yeah. it, it, it doesn't would make a lot like of sense. Robot. <laughs> yeah. It's an idea. It's like giving yeah. people an idea. Know, it's fantastic. Could, Could you, you uh, this all on countdown? Completely the shame. What? Okay. Yeah, 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 <laughs> completely the shame. <laughs> but I can't it's even imagine how you managed to do that. Yes. No, I'm I sure you try that. So now. Who speaks in tones, harangues and declaims in a long, meandering cascade of sounds, syllables, stresses and intonations that might at first seem to be full of sense and meaning, but soon reveal itself to be an empty, vain, hollow and completely meaningless stream of gibberish? <laughs> you. You. <laughs> <laughs> what do vegetarian goat suckers eat? Right. Can I, you show wow. that on television? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's taking vaping too far. <laughs> so vegetarian goat suckers, what do they eat? He must so, eat the rest of the goat, surely, before it becomes his instrument. It's a vegetarian goat sucker. <laughs> so... <laughs> what, just know you goat. saying that. What's a goat sucker? It's a kind of bird. It's an order of birds called goat suckers. Oh. And they were named because there was an ancient belief that they lived nocturnally sucking the milk from the teats of goats, which sent them blind. Oh, God. Oh, I know. It feels like a fun size owl. Well. <laughs> like if you're like, oh, I want to get an owl, but I haven't got the space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. They're called oil birds, also known as guacharo, and they are the only vegetarian species of goat suckers. Most goat suckers eat insects. These oil birds eat fruit. So you said that like it's like a huge surprise to us. <laughs> well, when you just heard they existed, you yeah. went, these are the only ones that yeah. are vegetarians. <laughs> well, I've just found, I mean, I literally couldn't care less. <laughs> I'm speaking on behalf of everyone in the room when I say, <laughs> yeah, well, these are the only vegetarian ones. Well, let's get this down. <laughs> What are you talking about? You've lost your mind. <laughs> they live in caves in the northern part of South America. Well, no wonder they're vegetarian. What is there to eat in there? Well, the thing about them is they get so fat from the fruit that they eat that they become incredibly plump and there's an annual oil harvest where people take the plump babies in their thousands, the local people, and they render them for the oil because apparently it's excellent for fuel and also for cooking. Do and they still suck the goats? They, nobody sucks goats. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is no goat sucking. How do you get the oil out of this the, out like the birds? Well, like, you can <laughs> render any bird for its fat, can't you? If you ever cooked a duck, you can get an enormous amount of duck fat. Ima imagine a world where I've never cooked a duck. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really on the same wavelength here at all. I remember when, when Sandy had a breakdown on television and she was talking about goat suckers. <laughs> and, then, and then we just gave up. We asked about three times, what has this goat got to do with anything? And she just went, oh, it's a bird. And then she kept on talking about goats for ages before, but then we just let it go. People are, <laughs> at the tipping point, they say that was it was one show too many. And she explained to everyone, it's the only vegetarian goat sucker, but it doesn't suck goats. It doesn't even do it. And she thought it made sense. Yeah, and then, and then, and then she, was, and she was someone's mother-in-law, and then she ended up in an asylum. <laughs> and we went to visit her. It yes. was an ancient belief that they sucked the teats of goats for the milk, but they don't. Sometimes in the old days, they got things wrong. <laughs> Because you may not know this, but you have many sphincters. Oh, I know, I know, I know, yes. a little, I know a thing or two about sphincters. Tell me about sphincters. I once had. This may not be an appropriate story. <laughs> no, I certainly hope not. I once had. I once had a, a, a bladder complaint. This is not STI. It was just. A, I was getting up in the middle. Why are you of looking at me when you say? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought trades. you would understand. <laughs> If you go to the doctor, sometimes they, they say, well, look, we're going to pop a camera in, oh. we're going to have an explore. And it was, it was in, my, in my bladder. An, there was a bit of an skirt. issue yes. in my bladder. So they, they decided to get a camera and just pop it in my bladder. And obviously well, the easiest way to get in is to... Is, to, is, is through to, the schlong. Is through the schlong. 
And I thought, I imagine the camera would be like the width of a human hair. It was like a, it was like a pen. Oh! <laughs> And they and they and they fed it in, and it was it was about ten years ago I had this. Right, you're... <laughs> and, uh, and, they, and, they, and it was about ten years ago, and it was a, it was a lovely nurse that was doing the procedure. And as she sort of fed it, she went, "What do you do for a living?" She was trying to start conversation at this awkward moment <laughs> in a man's life. She went, "What do you do for a living?" And I went, "I'm a comedian." And she went, "Tell us a joke." <laughs> And it is a matter of professional pride that I did. Oh, well done. <laughs> they offer you the DVD, though, at the end, didn't they? If they put a camera in you, you they get do. given the DVD. Yeah. But for what? Eventuality? My dad got one YouTube. inside of his things. Yes. But, like, when it, is that appropriate? Doings. At Christmas. Oh, let's not watch The Great Escape this year. Let's watch your dad's <laughs> <laughs> The Great Escape is presumably when they pull the camera yeah. out. Oh. <laughs> but then you, but what, the reason I mention that is because of the there are two sphincters on the way in. And actually, the painful bit is when they have to go, we're just going to go through the sphincter. You might feel a little tightening. Yeah. You might feel a little something. Because yes, of... and it's got a camera. Well, because... wait, it looks like, you're playing, looks like you're playing snooker or something. <laughs> just going to hit the camera He's, into he, the... He, he... <laughs> How the point <laughs> the, 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 there's a kind of lichen that's known as caribou moss. So it's a moss like lichen and that's it there. And it's used by model railway enthusiasts oh. for what? Who put grass. that? To create grass. Well, not grass. Bushes. Uh, Bushes and trees. Uh, Hang on a second. Can we just take a moment to look a at the photo green and ask wings. what the hell is going on there? It <laughs> <laughs> seems to me like a zoo with an enclosure that's just gone. <laughs> Stick them in together. <laughs> there's need some budget cuts, they can work it out. <laughs> A lot of those guys need water. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very near the coast, as you can see. How is that near the coast? It's slithering down, <laughs> all the little waters running down to the sea. Look at the, boat, the poor fat fella at the back. <laughs> look at him. He just stranded there, going, <laughs> well... Hang on. It does Hello, look a bit odd. this feels wrong. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be in with a deer. Hello. <laughs> Now, would a bit of rough music stop you beating your wife? Jesus. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of light-hearted image we have of yeah. beating your yeah. wife. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a sort of leading question in a police interview, doesn't it? <laughs> would, would some music stop you beating your wife? <laughs> oh, it might, actually. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is the classic thing, isn't it? Is uh, the, the old press question, is it, have you stopped beating a wife? Yeah. To which any answer naturally condemns you. But uh, wife beating is a bad thing. We don't approve, naturally. It's just so stupid, isn't it? Beating your wife. I mean, it's your wife. <laughs> it's like keying your own car. <laughs> Society just got a tiny bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think I can help. <laughs> they say of the Acro Acro Acropolis where, where the Parthenon is. <laughs> they say of the Acropolis where the, the Parthenon is. They say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is <laughs> that they. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Turns out they didn't say anything at all. <laughs> I think it might be the same. Say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is. Say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is. They say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is. They say the Acropolis where the Parthenon is. Bloody hell, Stephen. This better be good. Is a remnant of the stone. Uh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> I just got a question. What do they say <laughs> about the Acropolis where the Parthenon <laughs> is? They say. <laughs> what do they say? What do they say? <laughs> he's going to say. 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 Acropolis with the <laughs> <laughs> But there are 
<laughs> no straight lines. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. 